You see? This man planning for lash up. And they're gonna use this thing with your picture up on Facebook. Right? They're gonna use this thing with your picture up on Facebook. They're gonna get somebody for lash up and it's gonna and, and, and it can look like kids get lash up because of drug business. This one is from Azadine Mohammed. Right? This one's from Azadine Mohammed. He sued me and he and he um, said so he gotta make a public apology, right? Within um seven days, right? What I gotta tell you is Azadine Mohammed, right? I don't care how much money you get, use my guard. And if I dare know you say gotta call me, yeah, son, got his life short. You're not gonna live next one to the age. You still have to die. Don't come and trace it again. It's memories, life is memories. Now you do is building a little more than me. You're going to left on your be a little more than me. And then... Dr. Anderson, you're smiling. Over to you. I'm not sure whether you were in the room. Um, I was in the room, Mark. You were there. I describe was in the room. room. Describe so, it. For it was chaos. It was a rank display of hooliganism and nastiness that I have never seen before. So come and get the police officer in, in charge of the major crime investigation unit. Take the same liar as the um, mastermind of this thing and the suspect in this thing. All these people think come together. You no, know, it's so beautiful to be able to vote electronically. Nobody would know who you're voting for. You have your cell phone in hand and you you click on your uh, your candidate. You scroll down and press send, and that's it. It's like sending a, a text message. And so it was a wonderful event. We had a, a, a very respectful uh, and respectable uh, returning officer. Mr. Kins, Mr. Kins, Mr. Kins asked me if I was a police. And I said, yes, sir. The man said, don't ever come and see me again. He said, here, I tell you, don't ever come and see me again. And then yesterday, Mr. Kins put the officer from OPR, Mr. Beard, for call me and tell me that I must um, come and report to OPR. Oh, you still didn't get your ticket? This flight takes off every single day. Tap that subscription button. Thanks. Attorney at law, Nigel Hughes, who has been retained to represent Detective Sergeant of Police Dion Bascom, has asked President Irfan Ali to provide witness protection for him. Sergeant Bascom has implicated several high-ranking police officers of the Criminal Investigations Department of deliberately covering up the March 2021 murder of Ricardo Paper Shorts von Gunes in exchange for 30 million Guyana dollars. Bascom's allegation has sparked lawyers' letters to Bascom demanding an apology on behalf of gold dealer Azrazine Mohammed and deputy head of the Guyana Police Forces Major Crimes Unit, Mitchell Caesar. When you walk in four o'clock in the morning, tell me be sitting around and rest the man, go for four o'clock in the morning. Well, this is the this is the thing we come, you tell me flashy picture. You see the face in the background, you see the neck there. Cause another and there's a thing he sent to Mr. Blanham there. There's a there's a there's a, a other message he sent to Mr. Blanham. This information is we sent to Mr. Blanham. Now Mr. Blanham tell the vice president that I make up this story because I want me gone, right? So I, so I make up this story. All I get is thing from Mr. Caesar. This information. What you got in here? Mark Richmond. This is one of the persons that sue me. But as it in Mohammed and Mr. Caesar, this is one of the persons that sue me, right? Now, the next thing I want to address. The phone call. Right? Remember, tell y'all that Mark Richmond called me. This is the printout. Right? This is the printout. Y'all okay. This is the printout for me phone. Right? I seen it. There's a printout for me phone. Right? I tell you, after the guy called me, I called Inspector Sorabo. Then I called Mr. Caesar. I didn't get on to him. I called Mr. Blanham. I did not get on to him. And then I get on to Mr. Caesar, who advised me to go make a report. Then I called Anais, who's a friend of mine, Sergeant Anais. You see the name of the tab there? Then I got Mr. Caesar, Mr. Blanham, and then I got Sorabo. Sorabo, um, Inspector Sorabo. Mr. Caesar, Mr. Blanham, then I get talked to Mr. Caesar and I explain to you that this man just called me and tell me don't go looking for you so on and so on and, we are, and, and this is a high profile matter you're looking after and I feel threatened by it because me and all this man get me now for call me and we're doing an investigation, right? Watch Mr. Caesar, um, 
normally top there. This is when I get turned back to here. Right? And he trying to tell me, like, go make a report. Right? He said to go make a report. This is the report. You probably can't see it good because it didn't print out properly. This is the report that I went to make at Breakdown Police Station. They got a little I'm Marina Constable. He's reporting the third report from me. I'm going to try to forget it better, forget his name. Right? This is before Breakdown Police Station Bandung. But God, they keep me see you've been coming with me because it's a good thing I end up flashing this report. Can't break down one down the diary gone up in flames, right? The diary make reporting gone up in flames. So it's like God went with me. Right? If I use my head, I flash this report, right? So Mark Richmond was suing me. I wanna show y'all back again, right? You see Mark Richmond number 697. 8 to 20, the number that called me, right? You see the number, right? This man, he called me, tell me, don't go looking for you, so on. Now, Mr. Blanham, tell the vice president that I make up this story, right? Because I want me license gun. He said, I make up this story because I want my license gun. Watch it. 6, 9 to 7, 8 to 20. You see when he called me, right? Now, I'll, I'll show you back this another document here again so you can see it good. This is, this is the information. For me, them thing, you see it? For Mark Richmond, you see it? You see the number there? 697 80 20. Right? Now, I'm gonna adjust something else now. These men send me three summons. Right? These men send me three summons. Summons are liars, letter, or whatever you call it. By the way, this is the guy, Mark Richmond. I know him for years. This is the guy, Mark Richmond. I know him for years. Watch him. Right? I know him for years. He's one of us in the insecurity. Right? I know he says I smile. Growing up, I know him for much field street. We know he's in the green shop. I never know your shop, man. I even know your name. Because I just see your party. Right? When he can, I see one to tell Mr. Caesar that I know him for much field from a shop. So when he called me all the shop man, let me Mr. Caesar, I started talking with him. Because when he called me, he told me he's shop man from Matthew Street. Right? Remember, remember when they tell me to go to Ben Street, I tell them, no, this man don't live Ben Street, this man live Matthew Street, can you know he's from Matthew Street? Remember the investigation we're doing. He said, go Ben Street, here the man said Ben Street. A couple days after this guy get my number and call me, tell me don't go looking for him. Right? This is Mark Richmond. Something Danny right up way, um, as a little baby mother post about you when you go for kidnap your son or something. Go to the mark up on the picture there. I got, I'm gonna post it and left it on Facebook because this is minor evidence to why I really got right now. I come for a deal with this thing they send me about the um, but this lie I come and bring by my house. I couldn't accept it, but I have to bring it because I noticed something, so I have to bring it right. The first thing I get on 24 dormant street lodge for it. That was one long years ago. Right? 24 dormant street lodge is, the, is where the address these letters store. 24 dormant street lodge. Right? That was one long since I went to the police college. It born and I lose everything. I have to start all over again. The house born and I have to start all over again. I come with the, when, I, when I pass it from the police college, I come with a couple of pieces of clothes. Right? I went, to, I went to, um, I work hard in the bush and buy things and so on. Everything born up in the house. Right? So I had to start all over again. This is 24 door and street lodge. Right? I had to start from scratch. Now, I'll treat this letter. I'm gonna show you. This one is from Azadine Mohammed. Right? This one's from Azadine Mohammed. He sued me and he and he um, so you gotta make a public apology, right? Within um seven days, right? What I gonna tell you is Azadin Mohammed, right? I don't care how much money you get, use Nagar. And if I did know you still gonna call me. Yeah, son, got his life short. You're not gonna live for the next hundred years. You still have to die. Don't come and trace again. It's memories, life is memories. Now you do is building a little more than me. You're gonna left on your arch, build a little more than me. And your life is good and bad memories. Right? So you're gonna go through some hard times, you're gonna go through some good times while you're alive. If I did, I don't dare and gone like everybody else. A lot of people die. You understand? So you are killing me, it means nothing for me. Right? But this is so is he sell me so I, I gotta make a public cup. A public apology or pay um 25 million dollars right 
from a lie of poon, I am poon I. Then from Mitchell Caesar, right? The same lie of poon, I am poon I. This is for $50 million. Right? So they've done 75 million, right? This, this is from Poonai and Poonai, Mr. C. So the same liar as actually Mohammed, the accused, or what should I say, the mastermind. Right? The mastermind. And the chief investigator, the, you understand me, the person that investigated this matter, right? And the mastermind, you're the same liar. But look what going on to Mark Richmond taking me for $100 million, right? Mark Richmond taking me $400 million. The, the, um, the suspect in the matter. And guess what happened? The liar come and bring this thing to serve it on me yesterday. Right? With the liar bring Archie this thing together. So come and get the police officer in, in charge of the major crime investigation unit. Take the same liar as the... Um, mastermind of this thing and the suspect in this thing all these people think come together now what are you going on here right the next thing i want to tell y'all when that a big robbery when it was the mom it lost them goal right mr caesar and as the enemy working for it together i know who was moving around with them too mark richmond Mark Richmond was moving with them when they were doing the investigation. Y'all stop playing the car blind. Right? Y'all didn't hear your voice when they find him when he was talking. So don't think that I come here for light. And I want to tell y'all all. So don't feel like talking. No, don't ask. Don't ask why I'm talking this now. I'm going to explain everything to you at the time. Right? Don't ask why I'm talking this now. Or why I choose now for talk this. I'm going to tell y'all why. Right? The reason why I choose now for talk this. I've been holding it in night time and people telling me don't do this, don't do no. I get a lot of victimization in the police force. I went to see Mr. Ekins. And Mr. Ekins chased me and tell me, um, he said you're the police, you know me for years. I trained when he was over CTSU. Right? And he see me something, he's all about you getting too fat boy, you know? And them kind of thing. And I go to see Mr. Ekins and Mr. Mr. Ekins asked me if I was a police. And I said, Yes, sir. The man said, Don't ever come and see me again. He said, here, I tell you, don't ever come and see me again. And then yesterday, Mr. Ekins put the officer from OPR, Mr. Beard, for call me and tell me that I must um, come and report to OPR. Right? Now, how could OPR investigate a matter when, when I mentioned Wendell Blanham name as one of the main persons of Mr. Wendell Blanham listen to anything that Mr. Caesar tell you? Mr. Caesar been doing wickedness under Mr. Wendell Blanham for years. Right? And when the OPR finished, right? The, with the, the, uh, was it, the file I was able to do after go to Mr. Wendell Blanham before it go to the DPP. Right? So how OPR could investigate this matter and call me for give them statement? The police complaint authority supposed to be looking after this matter. I challenge anybody here. I call people name, I ain't freaking nobody. I challenge anybody here to go up on Azzedine Mohammed page on the Facebook page and check before paper shots get killed and see if he been doing all this thing we doing. He started doing this thing to win the hearts of people. Watch and see the people that he's around. People that just get likes. The little fat boy, um, Tian and all these kind of things. Thing. He's taking people that get likes and doing things for win the public with him by the public scene doing good things after he killed the man. I tell you, I have to kill him, man. I you kill me or you put me in jail. Right? This we doing. Right? And I get a lot more things. And I like if I, the next move I'm making is to an international body. And I want to tell you all something. The reason, the reason for me to speak out is this. After the order of the canoe, the canoe is going to send me away. After the order of the canoe to put me in the lock up, even though can you know the time get in charge, I never see the drugs up to now. I ain't got fingerprints, nothing. Even though the hard the canoe for put me in the cups and chop me picture. And all the things to do me. People tell me stay quiet, don't think just go back to work or so on. I hold it up. 
right? I hold it up. You know when I get prickle? Hey, when I get prickle? When I lie down in my bed and get a phone call and the person says, what are you doing? I say, yeah, you buy good. He says, see what go on there, man, thing, thing, thing. He said, what to hold it up, though? He said, I want to tell you something. He said, this man is planning for lash up. And they're going to use this thing with your picture up on Facebook. Right? They're going to use this thing with your picture up on Facebook. They're going to get somebody for lash up. And it's going to look like kids get lash up because of drug business. Right? Because it's why they put the, the whole thing out there with the drugs. You understand? So they said they're going to use this thing for lash up. Lash up means kill you. Murder you. Right? And they're going to put it, and, and they're gonna put it out there. As if you die for drug business. So I get up, I even tell me wife nothing. I get up and I does this, huh? and I say, what? And here when I think, I sit down and I start studying. They put me them out there, right? I got lash up and people, or I got more on people saying that I died from drugs. Delta 9 family, welcome back to the flight. If this is your first time flying with us, do remember to hit that subscription button so that you'll be notified Every time that we fly, we take off daily. Now we're talking about the bridges in life today. The bridges of life and death. The bridges of transfer of power from one party to the next. We're looking at the bridges, the bridges between love and hate, the bridges between friends and enemies. All of these bridges are controlled most times by the ego as to how, when, where, why, or for who we would cross any one of these bridges right here. Some of these bridges are forever burned. We know that paper shards will never be in the land of the living again. And a person will forever be responsible Whoever that person might be, whether they're still in the country, whether they're abroad, whoever's responsible will forever be responsible. What are your perspectives on this situation? Let's have a conversation in the comment section about this. What are the bridges that you might be willing to cross if all of your squaddies turned it back on you? allegedly in a situation like this do you think that they were right do you think that they were wrong for the way that they treat officer Bosco? why would he make such allegations and then why would critic come afterwards and make the same allegations knowing that there was a lawsuit before that he might be hit with the same one that officer bascom was hit with is not a smart move or is it only time will tell in this situation some bridges can be crossed again though. not all bridges are burnt forever because some bridges in the transfer of power had a little bit of abuse out some bridges were crossed where you see certain behaviors coming out of the office that allegedly one might not expect to see. One side is saying that they can win a hundred more elections. And another side is saying that, hey, there wasn't no elections. And the elections that they did have was not even warranted because guess what? They don't have no list. And then the list that they did have might have persons on it that shouldn't be on it. So this case is in court right now, but it was a big news out and the persons that were involved are having a conversation about what took place in the elections and what's going on with the matter right now. You know, it's so beautiful to be able to vote electronically. Nobody would know who you're voting for. You have your cell phone in hand and you, you click on your uh, your candidate, you scroll down and press send, and that's it. It's like sending a, a text message. And so it was a wonderful event. We had a, a 
very respectful uh, and respectable uh, returning officer who conducted himself so professionally. He kept order. I mean, it was beautiful, Mark. Thank you so much, beautiful. And I, based on what I've been hearing, very transparent, democratic process. Kudos uh, to the uh, folks, uh, Team Ben, uh, that got the chairmanship, I believe, or control of the union once again, which is a good thing. Let's head to Mr. Fraser, sir. Uh, you are a candidate as well. Congratulations to you also, as well as Dr. Anderson. Uh, what is your take on the just concluded elections for the union? Mark, as, as, as Dr. Anderson would have said, um, we participated in a process that was smooth, transparent, and at the end of the day, the will of the people prevailed. But never, I, 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 I was doing some research, research quite recently on the credit unions in Guyana. And what I recognize in 2023, the Guyana Public Service Cooperative Credit Union election was the highest in terms of participation to date throughout the history of the cooperative movement. So I, I, I know for sure that our members were very enthusiastic and they need that change and they came out and they voted resoundingly to ensure that the, that the credit union is placed in the hands of responsible persons to manage the affairs of those persons who are members. Come on, by it just depends on when them choose, bro. Dr. Anderson, you're smiling over to you. I'm not sure whether you were in the room. Um, I was in the room, Mark. You were there. I was in the room. Describe it. So, it was chaos. It was a rank display of hooliganism and nastiness that I have never seen before. We were duly elected, as you said, and as the entire country knows, and, and, and the world over, that Team Ben had a clean sweep of that elections. And I want to go forward to say that if you have 100 more special general meetings to elect members to fill the posts on the com uh, Committee of Management for the GPS CC CCU, Team Ben will win every single time. I challenge those who are opposed to our ascension to the office by way of a democratic process. We can allow you to run 10, 12, 20 more elections and we will win every single time. 100% wild crafted CMOS from nature by natives why pay more you guys give critics five million dollars is this real or is a prank boss no disrespect no no the man come here and said pops i need five million dollars to to go and um settle with his family you know yeah we gave him the five million dollars cash cash money nothing five million dollar cash oh my god Boss, I'll tell you the fame, I'll tell you the 